Atlas is making final preparations for tomorrow's Mercy flight. The government's already looking at using it and an Andover to bring out New Zealand women and children. Saddam Hussein made the promise this morning that the West is watching and waiting tonight to see whether it's carried out. With military action in the Gulf on the back burner in the meantime, Hussein is trying to win a public relations war using the Western news media. His techniques so far have evoked worldwide revulsion, and even relatives of those detained doubt whether the offer to release women and children only will be fully welcomed. I know Mum would probably be reluctant to leave Dad, and he would probably be encouraging her to go, so it would be a difficult situation for them. Politicians too don't believe the offer goes far enough. And I'll be grateful when it happens, but let there be no doubt that there'll be no lessening of New Zealand's attitude, New Zealand's revulsion, uh, the quarantine will be maintained until all hostages are out and Kuwait uh, is no longer annexed by Iraq. For one New Zealand man, the offer may have come too late. Khaled Page has flown to the Middle East in a bid to enter Kuwait and bring out his two young children. His daughter and son are in hiding with their mother and friends. Today, Page phoned his parents from Saudi Arabia and told them if he doesn't make it out alive to tell his children that he gave it a go. Can you get into Kuwait? Too dangerous. The Page children are regarded as Kiwis, but because they have dual Kuwaiti citizenship, the chances of them joining an evacuation of New Zealand women and children remain unclear. Ian Wishart, 3 National News.